What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next question, we gotta find the line perpendicular to this function, h of x, which is f of x plus three x all over two minus g of x. Add an x value of one, given that f of one equals six, f of prime one equals negative two, g of one equals negative one, and then g prime of one is equal to three. So this one's a little tricky. So when they're asking for a line perpendicular to this, add an x value of one, that's another way to ask for the normal at that x value of one. So let's just pretend that h of x looks like this, okay? And then add an x value of one, we got the tangent. So this is happening at an x value of one. What they're asking for is this line here. The line perpendicular to the tangent at this x value of one. That's visually what is happening. So what are we gonna do? What do we need to get the equation of a line? First off, they're asking for the equation of a line. So we know that our final answer is gonna be in y equals mx plus b form. That's number one. Number two, to get an equation of a line, what do we need? We need the slope, m, and then we also need a coordinate on the line x and y. And then we could solve for that b value, and then we could get the equation. Well, notice that we already have half of the coordinate. We know it's happening at an x value of one, but notice we don't have the y value, but notice we could figure out what the y value would be. So we could find what's h of one gonna be. What's this value, the value of the function, the y value of the function gonna be at an x value of one? Well, we could plug in one for all the x's, so we'll have f of one plus three times one, all over two minus g of one, like that. And what's f of one? We're told f of one is six plus three times one, all over two minus uh, g of one is negative one, so two minus negative one, like that. So we would have nine over three, which would be three. Right, so that's the y value at an x value of one. So we got the coordinate, we got the full coordinate, one and three. We just need that slope. We need the slope of this line. So how can we find that? Well, we could do it in two steps. We can first find what's the slope of the tangent. So the slope of the tangent is going to be h prime the derivative of this at an x value of one, that's gonna be the slope of this line, but we need the slope of the normal or the perpendicular line. So once we have this slope, we can just take the negative reciprocal of it to get the perpendicular slope. So basically what we gotta find is this h prime one first. That's gonna give us the slope of the tangent. So we need an expression for the derivative of this here. So this is where it's going to be a little bit tricky because we have functions within a function. So the overall function, we're going to use the quotient rule, but then notice we're also going to have to take the derivative of these functions within it. So h prime x, what we would do, take the derivative of the top, what's the derivative of f of x? It's going to be f prime x, derivative of three x is three, multiplied by the bottom function, like that, minus the top function left as is, times the derivative of the bottom function, the derivative of two is just zero, the derivative of negative g of x is gonna be negative g prime x, like that. And then all of this is gonna be all over that bottom function to the power of two, like that. And now, what we can do, we have an expression. I wouldn't simplify it from here. I would just keep it like this. Now we could find what's h prime of one gonna be. So basically for all the x values, we would just plug in one. So that would be a one. This would be a one, one. That's a one. This is a one here. And then this is a one. And we're given all these expressions with the information. So what's f prime one? f prime one is negative two plus three. This bracket's gonna be two minus g of one. g of one is negative one. Two minus negative one is three. Minus f of one is negative two. Or sorry, f of one is not negative two, it's six plus three. 
right? F of prime one is negative two, but F of one is six. This is F of one here. And then negative G prime one is this. G prime one is three, so negative of that is gonna be negative three. All over two minus G of one, G of one is negative one, two minus negative one is three to the power of two. That gives us nine, like that. So notice how this is gonna be one times three, which would be three. This would be minus, uh, nine times negative three is negative 27. And this is gonna be all over nine, like that. So we would end up with 30 over nine, which is 10 over three, right? So H prime one, Let's erase all of this here, is equal to 10 over three. But remember, that's the slope of the tangent at an x value of one. We don't want the slope of the tangent, we need the slope of the normal, the perpendicular line. So what we would do to find the slope of the perpendicular line would be take the negative reciprocal of that, which would be negative three over 10. And that's the slope that we would use here. This would be negative three over 10. So we'd use that slope, that point, that's gonna give us our equation. All right, so lots going on here. So we'll have y equals negative three over 10 x plus b. Uh, then we plug in three for y, we'll plug in one for x. Uh, so we'll have negative three over 10, bring that over. So we'll have 10 over, or uh, sorry, 30 over 10, this three I'm gonna to change to have a denominator of 10, bring this over. So B is 33 over 10, positive 33 over 10. So our final line equals y, is uh, y equals negative three over 10 X plus uh, 33 over 10, like that. And if you want to convert this to standard form, you can multiply everything by 10. So we'll have 10y equals negative 3x plus 33. If we multiply this, this, and this by 10, we would get this. We could bring this over. Right, that's another format. We can maybe even bring the 33 over. That's another format. So different formats this answer could be in just in case you get a multiple choice question. But either way, that, that, or that is the final answer.